This is video three in a three-part series on how to measure your carbon footprint using the BDC Greenhouse Gas Calculator. In video one, we explored the basics of greenhouse gas accounting. In video two, we reviewed how to prepare to use the calculator. In this video, we will show you how to use the calculator to measure your carbon footprint. After inputting your business-specific data in the Get Started tab, you're ready to begin your calculations. As a quick recap, the GHG calculator is structured into eight intuitive tabs. The cover page, how to use this calculator, GHG Accounting 101, get started, measure, results, emission factors, and glossary. You can switch between tabs by selecting the corresponding title along the bottom of the workbook or by selecting the button provided at the end of each page. For a detailed review of how to use the Get Started tab, please refer to the second video in the series. In that section, you will have selected all your emission sources relevant to your business. This is a critical step, as it will identify what activities you will need to find data sources for. In the Measure tab, you will find the emission sources listed from the Get Started tab, along with the type of data required for each. We will now walk you through this example. For each emission source indicated in the Get Started tab, select the unit of measure that matches your collected data. It is important to note that only one unit of measurement can be accepted for each emission source. For consistency, please use the same unit of measurement for each location, for example, kilowatt hours or dollars for electricity. For each emission source, enter your total annual consumption or total amount spent for each location based on the reporting year identified in the Get Started tab. If you previously selected estimate needed for electricity or natural gas data sources, the results will be calculated automatically and no further action is needed. If amount spent is selected as your data source, please ensure that all values in the Measure tab are input in Canadian dollars. Congratulations! You've submitted data for your first emission source. Repeat these steps for all sources. The Results tab automatically calculates GHG emissions for each source based on Measure tab data. It also generates graphs showing scope contributions to your total carbon footprint. At this point, all data has been entered in the Get Started and Measure tab. Nothing needs to be altered in this tab. However, don't forget to provide an overview of all excluded emission sources and the reasoning behind their exclusion in cell A25.